Welcome guys to the first round of the Classic Championship. This is the second championship we have done so far. We absolutely smashed the first one, driving as Nico Holkerberg in the FIA F1 World Championship. Now, we're going back a little bit in time. We've got Antonio blah 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 blah. That is actually Giovinazzi, but his name didn't show up. And Charles Leclerc has come out as female, so that's why he's so fast. But nonetheless, we have got uh, real life drivers in this in their cars battling against one another so it's going to be a very very interesting race uh, to say the least we're driving the RB6 alongside Pierre Gasly, Alex Lynn, Sean Galeo. so there's so many so many talented drivers in this um, ranging from legends like Rubens Barrichello, Mick, you got Mick, Mick Schumacher in it it's it's going to be interesting we'll have a look at the race director and you can see all the drivers that we've got here ignore um, the flags the flags are just just annoying. Um, so yeah, there's two name errors. You've got um, Giovinazzi, whose name hasn't changed, which is annoying. And uh, But nonetheless, we are ready for the five lights to go out. And we are sat alongside Mick Schumacher with our teammate Pierre Gasly just ahead of us. We get off to a good start. We're going to almost go past um, Pierre Gasly. But Alex Lynn just gets a rocket start. Charles Leclerc does maintain the lead of the race. So as we head into turn one, Gasly gets a bit sideways. Um, I think he may have made contact with his... Uh, old teammate Alex Lynn but nonetheless we're up into P3 and we're going to cruise up to the back of Alex Lynn and pop down the inside and try and get as much ground as possible because that F2004 that Charles Leclerc, Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi and Kamui Kobayashi are driving is it's absolutely ridiculous it's such a fast car we're going to have a look at a replay of the start we're on board of Alex Lynn because he got off to a blinding start um, he just absolutely left everybody um, and you can see he's going to give us a little nudge wide but he just absolutely flew past us. And um, yeah, he just did a f solid job to get past us as well as the rest of the Rebels. He was the leading Rebel um, until we managed to take that position off of him. But moving on a little bit forward onto lap one, we've got a bit of a challenge here from Mick Schumacher. He's going to go around the outside of, I believe, that is uh, Pierre Gasly. So Pierre Gasly is in a bit of trouble. Uh, Mick Schumacher's moved up one more place. So Mick Schumacher's doing a good job. We're on lap three now. And Charles Leclerc is absolutely flying. He is so far ahead of all of us. He's doing what he does best. Gets out in the lead and just absolutely dominates. But we're coming on to start lap four. And you can see he's just putting in purple laps after purple laps. But Mick Schumacher has made it up into P3. As you saw him overtake uh, Pierre Gasly. So Mick Schumacher is doing a solid job. He is catching us quite quickly. Um, like I said, the F2004 is just ridiculous. And again, another faster slap from Charles Leclerc. He is just on it. Like, we have no answer to him, but we've got a bit of a battle a bit from further back. We've got one Pablo Montoya against Pedro de la Rosa, the F2007 against the MP423, and Montoya is going to try and look to shape up a move on Pedro de la Rosa. We've got another F2007 in the background, but it's not going to be a very, very opportunistic move from Montoya. They're going to go side by side. He gets a bit squirmy on the X, but it looks like de la Rosa is just about going to hold on to that position. So very well done from Pedro de la Rosa. But Charles Leclerc comes round the final corner and he is going to take the first win of the season. And look, there's such a massive gap to ourselves in P2. But Charles Leclerc is going to win. And again, he set a fastest lap on the last lap. So that F2004 is going to take some beating, especially with uh, Charles Leclerc um, driving that car. So it's going to be very, very difficult to um, get the position we're expecting, which is P1. But, um, so yeah, in these videos, guys, there's going to be two races per video. There are only five laps because anything longer than that, it's just a bit, it's a bit silly because of how unbalanced the cars are. Um, if, for example, I was to do a 25% race, then the F2004 would win every single race, more or less. Um, and there wouldn't be much overtakers. There's no point longing out a 25% race when I'd probably get the same amount of footage doing a five lap race, maybe a little bit more, but... There are the results, and there's technically the standing. Mick Schumacher in third place. Alex Lynn, Pierre Gasly, and Kumui Kobayashi um, actually got the last point. The points are 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little bit different to what we're used to. But we're going to jump straight in to Brazil. We're on the grid, we're in P2. Uh, it was a wet qualifying, which obviously helped us out. We were really quick um, in the wet, so we've got a lot of downforce on this car. I messed up the setup, so hopefully it won't hamper us too much. 
as we get off to another good start. But around the outside goes our teammate, Pierre Gasly, who just absolutely flew from the start. We're going to go down the inside of Charles Leclerc. We're going to bang tyres a little bit. We're going to pull to the apex, and we're actually going to send him spinning. We didn't really have anywhere else to go. We took the apex, and that was um, Charles, the championship leader, in, in fact, actually round at uh, turn two. We're going to look on board at our teammate again, just like Lynn did in Australia. He just got off to a fantastic start, just absolutely destroyed us, as well as the uh, two Ferraris of Mick Schumacher and Charles Leclerc. But yeah, Pierre Gasly is just going to fly off um, into the distance as we're going to have a look at what happened at turn two. We're down the inside of Charles Leclerc. We banged tyres a little bit. He's a little bit ahead of us. But because he went so slow on the apex, I didn't account for that. So he's round and he's going to lose a fair few positions. You've got the Renaults in the background, the McLarens. Um... So not, not what the championship leader would want, and obviously not a very happy bunny he will be, but I'd say it's a racing incident, probably being a bit um, biased there at this point, but we're going to move on to the end of lap one, about to start lap two, we've got Antonio Giovinazzi going down the inside of the Red Bull, I believe that's Alex Lynn, but he can't quite get the move done into turn one, so he's going to have a nice long straight just ahead of him, he's going to try and see if he can get past, but you'll be able to see just how dominant this F2004 is, it's, a, it's an absolute joke, he just cruises up alongside like it's nothing, it's essentially a Mercedes on a, um, on a McLaren Honda, it's, it's ridiculous, but coming on to lap 3, you can see Pierre Gasly is setting fastest lap, just like Leclerc, and we are quite a way behind, um, we put way too much downforce on the car, just like we did in the last championship, as Nuka Hulkenberg round here, we just struggle, but here is Charles Leclerc, he's trying to make his way back through the field, he's catching the McLaren, hand over fist, gets past Sam Bird, he's going to cruise up to the back of another Ferrari, and he might even make the move into the back straight, where the DRS zone is, but obviously we don't have DRS, which is lucky, because we do not need that Ferrari to be any quicker, but again, he's just going to cruise up to the back of this Ferrari, and just absolutely obliterate it, the difference between the V8s, and I want to say it's a V10, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a V10 um, in 2004. It's, it's just ridiculous. It really is. But here is Charles Leclerc. He's still making his way through. He's coming down to start finish right now. There is a car ahead of him. I believe it is Alex Lynn. So, yeah, he's going to get past Alex Lynn. So, he's going to take another position from the Red Bull. So, he's coming through the field pretty well, similar to how he did in Bahrain in the F2 race. But, nonetheless, Charles Leclerc is on a recovery drive. But look at this. Two F2004s and a 2002 all, in fact, no, they're, all three of them are F2004s, and they were chasing me down, but somehow I managed to stay ahead, and here is our teammate, Pierre Gasly, who is going to come through, and he's going to take his first win of the season, so Pierre Gasly does win the Brazilian Grand Prix, and a fantastic win by the Frenchman, indeed, we're going to just about hold off to come through, like I said, we had all three of the F2004s right behind us, so that was very close, back-to-back -back podiums, back-to-back -back P2s, we can't really complain, um... It's not been too bad. It's going to take a while to get used to this car. Um, the downforce in it is just ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. But Pierre Gasly does win. Um, first win of the season in the RB6. It's a fantastic job by him. All around, not a bad, not a bad job by um, the RB6 drivers so far. We're doing pretty, pretty solid. Um, the drivers and constructors will be up on the screen in a minute. Ironically, only two constructors have actually scored. But nonetheless, the next video will be out tomorrow. Until then, guys, I'll see you then.